itself and clients in 1999. I think it was the first time I started buying them. How much was probably, gold per ounce back? Well, gold was under 300. It was a two, you know, and, and it was near the peak of the NASDAQ. And it, when it really started to get ridiculous, and gold stocks were ultra cheap back then, and I, I started buying them. And then I started selling and recommending physical precious metals, and I bought myself both gold, silver, platinum. Uh, probably in 2001, I think I started selling it. And, and now, you know, we sell a tremendous I probably sell more physical uh, bullion uh, per month today than I used to do in brokerage business uh, when I first started, you know, in 2000. So we're selling a lot of, a lot of gold. Where does it go from here? A lot higher. I mean, you know, first of all, look where oil is. Oil is now at $120 a barrel. So if you look at the relationship that gold has to oil, uh, you would expect it to be close to 10 to 1. So with $120 barrel oil, uh, you should see gold around 1,200 an ounce. And I think it'll get there before the end of the year. Help me understand this, though, Peter, and, and pretend, pretend this is the average investor asking. What do you do? You, it, gold is this kind of thing that you buy the bars of it or you buy the physical gold, and you don't do anything with well, no. it. You just hold it. Yeah, gold is money. And money retains its value. That's the good thing about money. The problem is what everybody is using that they think is money, dollars, doesn't retain its value because Ben Bernanke is printing it like crazy. In fact, you know, there was news that came out today on, on uh, Freddie Mac, these huge losses that they have. And, you know, if it, it, it Fannie Mae is going to go bankrupt and Freddie Mac, unless the Federal Reserve creates a substantial amount of inflation to prop up the housing market. And so the only way that these companies won't go bankrupt is if they create so much inflation, gold's probably going to be at $5,000 an if ounce. if the dollar does make a comeback, if, well, if well, the world considers its current moves and its future moves to be serious about stopping inflation, to, to not lower the interest rates anymore, will gold continue to go up? The, the dollar's not going to make a comeback. I don't care how much they talk it up. It's going to continue to That's not what I sink. asked. If it does, if the dollar does but it hold can't. its value. It's impossible for that to happen. You know, you might as well ask me, you know, if, if pigs sprout wings, can they fly? The dollar's not going to go up. <laughs> Paul nothing... Volcker did stop inflation yeah, back but, in the 80s. Right. It's, what did... it's possible to do it. No. If Bernanke does it, will gold no. continue no, to go up? No, he can't. What did, Bern... what, did, what did Volcker do? He put interest Raised rates interest at 20%. Rates up to 20%. All right, is Ben Bernanke going to put interest rates at 20%? So far he hasn't. Yeah, and, and so what... far he hasn't. And if he did... Would our economy completely collapse if we had 20% interest? didn't back in the 80s. Well, because we didn't have a $10 trillion national debt financed with T-bills. We had a lot of debt compared, no. yes, compared to the GNP. No. It was still substantial back in 1980, back the, the national debt, was majority of it was 30-year government bonds, and it was owned by other Americans. Now the debt is majority T-bills, two-year T-bills, owned by the Saudis and the Chinese and the Japanese. It is a huge difference. There were no adjustable rate mortgages. Basically, the, the Fed no longer has the tools to defend the dollar. All it can do is debase it. Watch this, David. Watch this. Peter, should we go back to the gold standard? Well, Cor, you know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 His head's well, imploding. No, well, of we course, of we course, wouldn't have Peter, had a Nasdaq you're bubble. We Just wouldn't wipe have had your, a, wipe your mouth. Yeah, you we go. wouldn't <laughs> have had a, a Nasdaq bubble. We wouldn't now be on the verge of an unprecedented collapse in the American standard of living because of years of monetary excess. I would have much rather had a gold standard than, than Alan Greenspan and now Ben Bernanke. Actually, uh, it is true if we had linked the dollar to gold back in the days when you first bought in in a big way in 1999, what would, what would oil be now? Send your chart here. On, what would on, oil be now? Well, I mean, look, I, I, you go back even dollar. further. We, we, we separated from gold in 1971. If we were still on a gold standard, oil would be about $3.50 a barrel. Wow. You know, all the difference is inflation. And, you know, when the government we'd be making about five hundred dollars a year, well, but we'd have a higher standard of living. I don't know what we would be making. But, yeah, we wouldn't have as high a salary. But the purchasing power, that's what's important. And, you know, when the government now they look at oil prices at one hundred twenty dollars a barrel, they look what's happening with food prices. And they say, well, this is because of global economic growth. It's because of China. It's because of uh, OPEC. It's not. All of it is because of the Fed. It's all because they're printing money. And that's why you got to own gold. Okay, so so can we broaden this discussion to, to other metals like silver? Silver and, and mm -hmm. platinum, and then maybe yeah. the non-precious ones. Well, I like well. Silver has always been a monetary metal, and I think you know gold and silver kind of go hand in hand. I think that there's a bigger move coming in silver. If gold is at five thousand dollars an ounce, you know silver could be at five hundred dollars an ounce, and the ratio might be ten to one. Now it's you know forty fifty. By the way, one. when. Do you think gold will be $5,000 an ounce? How long for Well, now? I mean, I don't know exactly when. I don't have a crystal ball to know the exact ball, date. Ballpark figure. I don't know. Probably by the, before the end of maybe the next uh, presidential term. So for okay. five years from now, it could be up there. I think it could be, you know, be $2,000 an ounce sometime next year. All right. All right. Peter we'll Schiff. save the tape. We will. <laughs> save them all. I, I, I save them myself. All I, right. I'm, Peter I'm shocked. Schiff. I'm shocked that he would save his own tapes. Of course. Well, we're going to switch gears.